So now you decided that you want to start your UGC journey and you're going to want to create your portfolio. Hi, I'm Audrey. I'm a mom of two, business owner and UGC creator. And I'm here to walk you through the steps on how to become a UGC creator. I am a brand new creator myself and so I figured what a great way to get started than to share with others how I got started and just walk you through the process um, so that you don't have to scour the internet to figure out how to do the process. So start off by going to canva.com and you're going to open up the website template and it should look something like this. So once you're in the template, you're going to just browse on the left hand column and find one that you like. Some of them are going to be the pro, which you'd have to pay for, or you could go with a lot of the free options here. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on one and then you'll just see that there's a lot of areas that you're going to go ahead and replace. Um, you can always add uh, new pages to this. The best way to do it is actually to um, click on add page on the bottom. and then go ahead and just drop in those pages that you want to add. So you're going to want to add a couple for your bio as well as your um, videos that you're going to show. If you want to also do pictures, you can add a section for that. For this example, I'll go ahead and just enter my name here and then I'm going to change this little area to say UGC uh, creator or if you have other titles you want to add you can add that there and then a super mini bio here of what you are able to provide and then the social media templates we're going to go ahead and replace all of these with videos so go ahead and upload videos into canva i've already done that so i'm going to go ahead and drag those over into each of these little templates that are in this template one of the things that you have to do is click on that video, go to playback, and you're going to turn off the auto play and presentation. This is a big deal. You want to make sure to turn this off so that when people go onto your website, it's not automatically playing and people get easily annoyed. And then finally, you want to also make sure that you have a section with all of your contact information and all of your social media handles. Where can they find you? How can they reach out to you? All of that jazz. Um, if you're going to put your social media handles, I like to actually go and search for the social media icons and place them all on this board so that it's easily identifiable for people. You could always drag the corners to make it smaller and um, make it aesthetically pleasing, maybe even change the colors up uh, to match your whole aesthetics of your website. One thing I also like to do is um, make hyperlinks for each of these icons. So how you're going to do that is click on your icon and then on the top right, you're going to click on this um, hyperlink icon and then type in your um, website that you want that to be linked to. So for this one, I'll show the Instagram um, handle. I can also type in my Instagram handle or all of the typing information of my um, platforms. All of mine is at meant to be designed so I could type all of that up and I could enter it on each of the little sections here. And once you're done with all of this information, you are now ready to publish your website. Click that button on the top right and you're going to click on free domain and continue. It's going to show you the URL. You could always go ahead and change it to what you want it to be. And then I also like to make sure that I have my website description here so that you're uh, easily searchable on the web. And then we're going to click on publish. All right, so now I hope this I hope this tutorial was simple and easy for you to understand. I hope that this encourages you to create your own um, website portfolio and that you begin uh, reaching out to brands on your UGC journey. Uh, if you're interested in more things about UGC, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see you on the next one.